Hello, this is Dear Damson and today we are going to paint cute little bunny with watercolor and I think the first thing I'm going to do is sketch it really fast. So we are having um, head, ears and partial body. So the head is a pear shape. The body will be a partial top pear shape. The nose is the letter Y. And the ears, you can do two ovals and make the oval slightly smaller where it's touching the head. We have like uh, tiny little ovals for the eyes and pretty much that's our sketch. Um, a lot of times I'll have a lot of lines for my sketch and then I'll delete what I don't want and leave the most important ones in and now we can start painting. Um, the colors that I'm, gonna, I'm going to be using are very few. I'm going to use blues, ochre, yellow, a little bit of red, and black. Um, so with the mixture of black and blue, I am just outlining a few areas just to pop out and I don't want to lose my cute little nose and mouth. Uh, this little painting represents a bunny that actually it's in our family it's my daughter's little bunny and her name is moose adorable cute little creature and I am using the ochre mixed with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown to create that beige color and for my whites I will just do blue for the shadows on the white so we are going to keep very simple and very um, light painting so we're not gonna have tons of details we are just going to emphasize on the important parts so like you see we have a lot more weight on the area right under the head and also we are doing the same thing for the eyes. We're gonna add more weight around the eyes. And obviously the nose, it's very important. And I am using a little bit of red diluted with water, so it's kind of pinkish, very, very pale color. And also I'm adding a shadow right underneath the nose. So I'm sticking that nose out just by adding a little bit of shadow. And if you see the two um, chicks on the front, I made those two circles a little bit darker. And now the nose, it's kind of standing out because we have the eyes a little bit, the area around the eyes a little darker. For the ears, um, I'm just adding a little bit of shadow. There's a line that um, represents kind of uh, the ear it's turning and it has a little line but it's nothing special you can do it with or without you can just do them kind of like an oval make the oval a little bit bigger on the top part I am going to add a few brush strokes going from center to the side uh, pointing both sides of the bunny and kind of representing a little bit of a fur I will not add tons of those because I don't want to make it too complicated. So we're going to keep it simple. So in this area I'm using wet on wet and I'm just adding a very pale blue. I'm going to do the same thing to this ear on the other side. So both ears are kind of uh, listening to different directions. I and mixing my black with blue so I can add a little bit of color there but I will emphasize on that a little bit later again and you see just a few brush strokes how it makes a huge difference just by adding a little bit more heaviness more weight to the paint color underneath the head it made our head stand out more Your whiskers and the eyelashes emphasizing a little bit more with black on the bottom part of the eye and leaving tiny little dots in the upper of the eye to give us an illusion of a highlight of a 
light coming from somewhere makes it more life looking and again there is the emphasis of the color right underneath the head again and I'm adding this beige because my daughter's bunny has that color otherwise you can do it with any color you want you can replace the blue with gray um, or you can do completely beige and, and um, brown colors it doesn't matter as long as you keep the shapes so I'm doing the whiskers with uh, the tip of the brush and the size of this brush is number six you can use any brush that has a nice um, tip so you can create this very skinny lines the background again doesn't matter that much just make it very pale to make the bunny stand out because the bunny does not have a lot of color in it or it's not heavy with color we kept it very very light and I'm doing opposite corners the ochre on the opposite corners and the blue on the opposite corners just to make it different so it's not a top and bottom but it's there you know. but you can do whatever makes you happy it does not matter everything goes in art So while I'm doing this, everything else is drying so I can add a few more details that are not going to spread around on the wet paint. So that's why I moved away from the bunny and I went to the background. Going back in shadows and you're gonna see how that head's gonna pop out and obviously I am kind of outlining it but not with one complete line a little bit of shadow right here on the nose so it's very very transparent again very little bit of paint emphasizing on those cheeks a little bit Lashes and again almost outlining but not all around. And if you see the further strokes, I'm just pushing a little bit heavier when I just land the brush and then I pull a pulling away and lifting so I can create that hair looking brush strokes but pretty much that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for my future videos and happy painting till next time